this week I uh, got a couple of things in mail. Uh, first of all, I uh, got my uh, double boost shirt from uh, John Mills in Newcastle, England. John, I appreciate the shirt. Uh, it's very nice, very nice uh, embroidery work on it. And I, I, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, the other thing I got in the mail is, uh, oh, I got uh, a bracket that uh, fits uh, in this uh, indicator uh, holder here on the side. It's a quarter inch ID. And uh, I got these from uh, Tom Lipton at uh, Ox Tool Co. Uh, this one I've got my mister mounted on. Comes down, goes back, bends at an angle, and goes out. I hope you can see that okay. And uh, there's a straight one here, and another uh, another curve that uh, actually curves the the opposite way. So anyway, uh, these are very nice, and uh, I appreciate it, Tom. And uh, as you can see, I've already put the with the one there to work uh, with the mister that I uh, just recently built. Also in the package was this uh, jar of uh, uh, Chow Bella Sorbetto uh, Sicilian Blood Orange. Uh, you got good taste, uh, Tom, you and your wife there. And inside here is a pair of uh, Maxi uh, Flex uh, gloves and uh, the extra large size. Uh, that's uh, you tell that because the, uh, the yellow uh, yellow band on them, and uh, I appreciate that. There's a nice gloves and a little package in a McMaster uh, uh, bag, and these are some. Uh, lifting rings and, uh, I will have to reciprocate and come up with something to uh, tickle your fancy there. So uh, ADS for now. Okay another little short here. Uh, show this uh, device here that I've made in uh, I guess I could do a what's it. Uh, it has a uh, little ledge in the in the uh, bottom side here, uh, and uh, it's a couple of adjustments and uh, to uh, show you what it really is. This is a uh, little diamond pointed uh, uh, device that has a little small diamond in the uh, in the end. I bought these out of uh, China and uh, they weren't very expensive and this is a grinding wheel dresser and this is the lock knob that locks the uh, locks it in and this is the adjustment knob uh, show you how I made the lock knob it's uh, pretty crude took some uh, half inch uh, hex stock and drill a hole that just was a press fit for a uh, socket head cap screw and uh, so that's the that's the lock knob this one I just took a uh, quarter twenty bolt and uh, turned the hex down and knurled the end there a little bit and basically what it does is allows you to uh, to run this thing in and out so let's put it on the grinder and show you how it works Okay, we're on the grinder here, and this uh, 
start it up. And then I've got it adjusted. So there you have it. It's my uh, little uh, grinding wheel dressing tool. Okay, what I have here is my uh, CNC rotary table uh, indexer and uh, it consists of a six inch uh, rotary table a coupling section here to couple the uh, the stepper to the rotary table a 23H uh, uh, stepper motor and a little handle so you can uh, turn the uh, table by hand uh, if you need be. And then the uh, controller here uh, consists of a 16 key keypad, a 16 by 20 LCD display and internally the motor controller uh, is inside and an Arduino uh, Uno that uh, runs the whole thing and I have it programmed here for two different modes a gear and just uh, table operations where you can go forward and reverse and set the speed and so forth uh, but we're just going to demonstrate the gear here uh, so I, you select one for gear then the uh, select the number of divisions in this case we're going to do four. You have to enter all uh, three digits uh, with zeros in front if it's a single digit. And at this point you would have made your first cut on the uh, on the uh, part. Then you get ready to move. You uh, press it and it says moving to the next location. And it'll move uh, in this case 90 degrees. Move the table 90 degrees. Then it'll come up ready. Press star for next. So you make your cut. Anyway, when it's finished, it'll say finished, and it'll go back to the... So that's it for my uh, indexer. Turn it around here so you can see some of the, some of the parts. This is the uh, coupler. And, of course, you got the stepper motor. Uh, this motor runs uh, about, uh, about an amp. Uh, uh, and the slower the speed, the higher the... the uh, the current. Uh, it's running about an uh, amp at uh, the speed I'm running out right now, which is probably a little fast. I need to slow it down a bit. But that's just a program change. Anyway, uh, runs off a 24 volt power supply. Uh, 